after this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said, I am thirsty. There is a kind of timelessness about hanging on the cross. It is not a quiet death, over in an instant, in one glorious moment of martyrdom, like being torn apart by lions. A cross is as much an instrument of torture as it is a gallows from which to hang. And as the day wears on, seconds stretch into minutes, which stretch into hours, until there comes a point when time can no longer be measured, except in the gradual weakening of the body and its ever more insistent demands for that substance which is so vital to life, so foundational to all living things, so basic to existence as we know it. Water. Water to moisten a parched mouth. Water to free a swollen tongue. Water to open a rasping throat that cannot gasp enough air. Water to keep hope alive. To keep life alive just a few moments longer. Water to a crucified man is life. O oh God, thou art my God, I seek thee, my soul thirsts for thee, my flesh faints for thee as in a dry and weary land where no water is. Who can tell if those words from Psalm 63 went through Jesus' mind? But a thirst for water is a thirst for life, and a thirst for life is a thirst for God promises streams in the desert, mighty rivers in the dry land, and living water to wash away every tear. Here at the end of it all, those promises seem so far away, distant, and yet Jesus, forsaken by God, still clings to the memory and the hope of life. I am thirsty. Lord Jesus, you gave your life for us. You suffered and died that we might be made whole. You have made us for yourself. 
We know it even if we cannot name it. We have had these bodies and minds long enough to learn to live with our limitations. Yet despite this, something in us hankers, yearns, thirsts for something better, something greater which we know is there. Beautiful music ends and we wish it could continue. We embrace, then refrain from embracing and wish that we could be held forever. We think deeply or feel deeply and wish that this sense of being caught up in living would not be interrupted by the mundane things of life. We sense the disappointment in dashed hopes that deserve to be fulfilled, in missed opportunities which should have led to joy, not frustration in people whose potential has been buried or denied and deserves to flourish. So much of life demands a resolution. So, thank you for this incompleteness. Thank you for this yearning Thank you for this thirst. Thank you for giving us enough of you to want more and so to sense the fullness of eternity within the limits of time. Amen. <laughs>